So I'm interested in just a little bit of review on a rotate and flip. And this works with text, but it also works with images. And I'm just going to be working on an image. So if I just want to move something a little bit, if I move my mouse up to this corner, I get this like half circle and I can nudge it a little bit to, to get it off of its perfect square like properties. So I can rotate that way. That's one way to rotate. This is so the cake slice is over here on the right. If I use this button to rotate 90 degrees, now it's at the top and I can quick keep moving it around. It moves that counterclockwise, but I can also move it clockwise as well. So either way, we'll get you to the position that you want to get it to. The other thing I want to do is what if I want to just flip this? I want the fork to be pointing downward for some reason, but I want it to be on this left hand side. I don't want it to be on the right. So I know that I could rotate this and it's pointing downward, but it's still it's on the right hand side and I want to keep it on the left. So I put this in a mask and I cannot do anything with the mask. So I do have to hit a release the image and pull this, excuse me a second, release the image. Now I have this additional button where I can flip it vertically and my fork is on the left where I want it and I want it to be pointing down. Um, so you have flip horizontally as well. I have flip vertically. And then once I get it the way I want to, I can put it back in the mask. So that's how you can do some rotating and flipping.